happen with webstarts.com. In this short video, I'm going to show you five cool effects you can add to your website using web starts. Before I get into the video, I do want to invite you to tap the subscribe button and also ring the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on web design, internet marketing, search engine optimization, and similar topics. Let's dive into the video and take a look at these five cool effects. You can see when I click view my site, I have a few different kind of interesting effects here, including a video background. I have a fade and I have some transparency or opacity, all these things. So I'm going to be covering each one of these in the video one by one. I'll be showing you how I added them. So the first effect that I want to show you is called uh, opacity. You can set the opacity for any element in the Web Starts page editor. If you haven't already gone to webstarts.com and signed up and created an account, you can do that by just going to webstarts.com, click get started. It's free. It's free to sign up and you can begin building your website. So what I did is the first thing that, or the first thing I did is I took this image here and I adjusted the opacity of it. And you can do that by selecting the element that you wanna adjust the opacity of, and then using this slider right here. So you can see originally my photo was uh, just a regular color photo of a mountain. But then I, what I did is I added this background color with a gradient that is purplish. And then I adjusted the opacity to allow a certain amount of that background color or gradient to shine through. And that gave me this kind of really unique looking uh, purple thing. So the first effect is opacity and you can do that by selecting any element and then just selecting this set opacity option and then using the slider to uh, increase or decrease the opacity of an element. All right, the second thing that I wanna show you, the second effect that I wanna show you is animations. You can animate any element of your website just by selecting the element and then clicking on the animation icon and then selecting one of the animations from the dropdown. Here you can see if I select these different animations, it shows you what they look like and how they're going to respond. For this example, I just selected to do the fade in animation because I think it's subtle and it looks professional. It's just kind of neat. And then I added it to each element on my page. So I selected them one at a time and then I selected the fade in element, even did that with the menu. And I also did it with this full strip background right here. All right, the third effect that you can add to your website that I added to this one is the parallax effect. Now parallax, what it does is it creates kind of a three dimensional look because it moves the background image and this text in opposing directions. So I don't know if you can notice as I scroll, it looks almost as if the words beautiful landscapes are floating above this background image. The way that you add parallax to an image is you have to first make that image a full strip image. So you do it by adding an image to your page. So for example, if I add the mountain image, I just add that to my page and then I click this full width option and then I select this settings cog right here. And then under image effect, I can select parallax, reverse parallax or fixed. In this example, I just used parallax. So I set that and then afterward, of course, I did those other things where I changed the color and the transparency or opacity as I discussed earlier. All right, the next effect that I wanna show you is called an anchor link. So this is the fourth of these cool effects. An anchor link is what allows you to do things like add this icon and have it so that when you click, it drops down to another spot on the same page, or it can even link to a different page or different place on another page of your website. So let me show you how I did that. I went over here, I selected the option to add an anchor, and then you just drag this anchor down the page. And in this example, I drag it right here. It's called anchor number one. So I'm gonna delete that number two. I dragged anchor number one to this spot because that's where I want the page to jump to when somebody clicks this arrow. I added this arrow here, click the hyperlink tool, select the anchor option, select the page on which that anchor that I wanna to link to is located. And then I select the anchor number, which is the number one because it's the only anchor I've created. And then I clicked create link and that 
created that anchor effect, allowing me to create a one page style design that when you click an, an element like this arrow will drop you down the page. Now the last, the fifth effect, the last effect is this video background. You can add video backgrounds just by adding a video to your page. You can grab that video from YouTube or you can upload it from your local computer. Once you add a video to your page, just do the full width and then you'll see that video is added as your background. All right, that's it for this video. That's five cool effects that you can add to your website using Web Starts. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.